Altai is the official name of the Turkish future main battle tank. It is named after the famous commander of the Turkish Cavalry Corps. It is Turkey's first indigenous MBT development program since 1943. In 2007 a contract was awarded to a local company Otica for the design and production of four prototypes. First prototype was publicly revealed in 2011. These prototypes were used for testing. In 2016 it was officially reported that Turkey is ready for production of this new tank. The contract was planned to be signed in 2018 for a total of 251 Altai tanks in three main variants. Production was planned to begin in 2021. Though there were major difficulties related to engine and transmission of the new tank. In 2023 agreement was reached with South Korea for the deliveries of automatic transmissions to Turkey. Deliveries of first production Altai tanks to the Turkish army began in 2023. This new main battle tank is of conventional design. The Altai uses some technologies of the South Korean K-2 Black Panther, however it is a different design, rather than a licensed produced version of the Black Panther. The Altai also has some design features of the Leopard 2, which is used by the Turkish Armed Forces. The Altai main battle tank is planned to have a 120mm L55 smoothbore gun. It is a version of the Rin Metal gun. Similar guns are used on the German Leopard 2A6 and 2A7 tanks, as well as on the South Korean Black Panther tank. Around 40 rounds of ammunition are carried for the main gun. Ready-to-use ammunition is stored in the turret bustle, fitted with blowout panels, while remaining rounds are stored inside the hull. The tank is fitted with coaxial 7.62mm machine gun, roof-mounted 7.62mm machine gun, and roof-mounted remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun. The Altai MBT is equipped with a state-of-the-art Vulcan fire control system and battlefield management system, indigenously developed by A. Selsun. This company supplies fire control systems to the Turkish Army upgraded Leopard 1 MBTs. The Altai has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer engagement capability. Vehicle commander uses a panoramic sight with thermal vision to search for targets. Once the target is selected the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time commander looks for the next target. Such engagement method is present on all modern main battle tanks. This new main battle tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. Prototypes of the Altai MBTs were powered by a German MTU MT 883KA501 turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1500 horsepower. This German engine was optimized for tropical and desert conditions. Initially it was mated to a German rank automatic transmission. However due to political issues Germany refused to sell this engine and transmission to Turkey. There were claims that production tanks will be powered by an indigenous engine, developing a whopping 1800 horsepower. However the Turkish industry failed to develop an indigenous engine for this tank. There were speculations that the Altai could be powered by a Ukrainian 6TD-3 diesel engine, developing 1500 horsepower. In 2021 a contract was signed with Dusan Infracore and SNT Dynamics of South Korea, to supply DV27K engines and EST15K transmissions to Turkey for the Altai. This engine and transmission were developed for the South Korean K2 Black Panther tank. Transmission has six forward and three reverse speeds. Interestingly South Korean prototypes of the K2 tank had problems with their EST15K transmissions due to reliability issues. As a result South Korea ordered German rank transmissions for their production tanks. However in 2023 another agreement was signed between SNT Dynamics and BMC of Turkey for the delivery of automatic transmissions for the Altai tank. Planned maximum road speed is set at 70 km per hour. This main battle tank will be fitted with a deep wading kit. After preparation it will be capable of fording water obstacles up to 4.1 m deep. Variants. Altai AHT is a prototype version optimized for urban combat. It was first publicly revealed in 2017. It is fitted with explosive reactive armor kit. Turret of this tank has a sloped wedge type shape. Rear parts of the hull and turret are covered with cage armor. The tank is also fitted with front mounted dozer blade. 
Altai T1 is a baseline production variant, similar to pre-production prototypes. It was planned that a total of 40 Altai T1 tanks will be built for the Turkish army. Altai T2 has increased protection and improved situational awareness system. The T2 might be just another designation of the Altai AHT. It was planned that 210 of T2 tanks will be built for the Turkish army. Deliveries are expected to begin shortly after the Atlay T1. Altai T3 technology demonstrator with unmanned turret and a bustle-mounted autoloader. A single prototype will be built for qualification in 2024. It will be used for trials and technical evaluation. Armored recovery vehicle. Is a planned future version of the Altai. Turkey is planning to obtain 60 of these recovery vehicles, based on the baseline Altai T1 hull. Mine clearing variant. Is another planned future version. Turkey is planning to obtain 50 of these armored vehicle. However it has not been specified whether it will be a new design, based on the Altai hull, or it will be just an Altai tank fitted with mine clearing attachments. Leopard 2A4 fitted with a turret of the Altai. In 2021 BMC demonstrated a modified chassis of the Leopard 2A4 tank with an integrated turret of the Altai. By 2021 Turkey has major difficulties with Altai's production due to the lack of engine and transmission system. German manufacturers were unwilling to help due to political issues. Turkey operates a fleet of over 300 ex-German Leopard 2A4 tanks. A number of upgrade programs were proposed in order to improve capabilities of these tanks.